Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 174, I think. That doesn't matter. What I'm showing you is my lovely Grundig 750 shortwave receiver. And the last video I did was on um, a webpage called Short-Wave which provides you a listing and a map of what international broadcasting stations are on the air at a given time. So today I'm going to kind of put it to the test, although it's not a real test from the standpoint that conditions vary so much. So I don't know how accurate this station, I mean, this website can be. But the idea of the, of the website is that it will try to predict what stations you can hear at a given time and how strong they're going to be. So I've got that web page up right now and it's uh, 654 Eastern Standard Time I think or Daylight Time or some kind of time Eastern Time anyway. Um, and so I've got the, uh, the web page up and I've got it telling me which stations are broadcasting now in their signal strength. Now, one thing about it, when you select to sort by signal strength, of course, it gives you the strongest station, the strongest that it's predicted that you will hear at the top, and then it goes down. So right now, it's saying that at frequencies 3185, WWRB, which is that uh, religion station, I should be receiving that with no problems. So I've already tuned that station, and let's see what kind of reception I'm getting here at 7 o'clock in the morning. She ran over her boyfriend three times with a pickup truck. Okay, it's the S meter is pegged, so it's a super strong signal. As you heard, it's very clear. So let's go down the list, and that's in Tennessee. I mean, actually, it's in Morrison, Tennessee, which should not be a problem for me to receive because I'm in Florida. So let's go down the list, get away from the ones that are in the United States. And here is one, China Radio International. It's in Kuriki. I, I maybe I pronounced that wrong, and I'm not sure where that is, but... I can click, I can, I can hover over that and it'll tell me that it's at bearing 47 degrees and it's 9,000 kilometers from me. So that means it's probably over coming maybe from England. So let's try that. That frequency is 13665. 13665. And let's see if we hear anything. So bad. Yeah? So Yep. Yep, that sounds like Radio China. There's a little, uh, and it's in English. It says it's in English right now. But uh, the person uh, broadcasting has this little Chinese accent. So I will confirm that it's from China. So that one worked. Okay, let's drop down here again on the list, and we're going by uh, what it's showing as the strongest signal to the weakest signal. And I'm kind of skipping around. Let's skip down to Radio Australia at 6140, and let's see if it's really coming from 343. Yeah, that would be to the west of me, 16,000 kilometers. Yep, that must be coming directly from Australia. So let's try that at 6140. It's in there, but it's very, very weak. Um, again, you know, conditions at my location will make this results of the predicted strength vary. So we got that one 
mm, very weak, but it was there. <clears throat> so let's go down to uh, this one is Voice of Nigeria. I never heard that one. <clears throat> It's at 85 degrees, 9,000 kilometers. So, yep, that sounds like it's in Nigeria, which is at 9640. 96. What did I say? Towards it. Wait a minute. I'm reading this wrong. Sorry. <clears throat> 9690. 9690. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nope, I didn't have a warm feeling that I would get that. Nope, nothing there at all. So, that was a miss. Um, try Voice of Russia. And let's see where it says it's... The bearing is... Mm, the bearing is 334. That's like due north. But it's 11,000 kilometers. So that means it's taking, it's predicting a path over the pole. Uh, and let's see what, I eh, don't know if I can get that one. Let's try it. 5910. 5910. Nope. That one's going to be a hard one to get. Okay. Let's go down to well, we got those two. Here's another voice of Russia. This is a bearing at six degrees, again almost due north going over the North Pole, and is at five nine six zero. No, excuse me, I read that wrong. Nine five six zero. Nine. Six, zero. Ooh, we got something there. Sounds like sounds like it's either being jammed or there's just something close adjacent to it. That signal that's jamming it sounds similar to uh, slow scan TV that's used by amateur radio operators, uh, it's, which is a you know a, a digital signal. Well, not a digital signal, but it's decoded as a digital signal. That's what sounds like it's coming in there. Right, with that 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 other signal coming on top of it, I can't make out what it, the person is saying, so I can't verify that that's a voice of Russia, but it's on the right frequency. So I, I would say that's probably a hit. So, uh, so far, the predictions from this website are doing pretty good. Let's go on down. See what else we got. Here's the voice of Vietnam, and it's at bearing 348. Again, that would be over the North Pole, and it's 15,000 kilometers. So let's see if we can do any good there. Now let's see where to go. And that's at twelve zero two zero. Twelve zero two zero. Seems to be something there, but Right next to it is a very strong 
signal that sounds like RTTY. So it's there, but again, it's getting interference. So let's go down to trying to get one, get some that's different. Here's Vatican Radio, and where is it coming from? It's bearing 50 degrees at 8,500 kilometers. Okay, so that might be coming from where you expect it to come from. So that's at 17590. 17590. That's kind of up there. Oops, it helped by punched in the right frequency. 17590. Again, there's something there, but I'm getting interference. Seems to be a lot of uh, interference today on stations on top of stations. And I've got the radio set for narrowband, so that should help a little bit. But but it's struggling. And of course, you know, it's like I say, it's seven o'clock in the morning, which for me is not the most ideal time to listen. It's much better listening at night. But we just wanted to see what was happening. Okay, let's try one or two more here. Uh, I'm getting as far as the indicator on the web page, as far as the signal strength, I'm now down to the point where it's it's one bar out of five. So, and, and again, what it is, what it, what it means by signal strength on this web page is the expected signal level or strength at your receiving location. So I'm down now that it thinks most of the stuff I can barely receive, which is the last three had been about that case. Let's try. Here's what I've never heard of. Radio Baran, maybe I pronounced that wrong, at 6010. Oh. Definitely interference there. Now, like I say, the signals that are being indicated that they're quite low, um, it, since they're low, if there's other interference that's closer or whatever, it will override that. Now, if the signal was strong, even though the interference was there, it could override it. But we're down in the mud now. So anyway, that's kind of just a, a little trial I did of using the web shot site, shortwave.info, and doing a sort by signal strengths, also having my location uh, correct on the web page so that it can do those predictions knowing where I'm at and uh, it was it was doing pretty good uh, let me go back up and look at the web page here and when I got down to oh say two bars or less on its indication of strength then I start having problems but the ones that were uh, above that, three bars and above, I definitely picked up those stations. So that's that's attempt at one. You know, given time, day, conditions, everything changes every, every shortwave reception. So that's the show for today. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. I'll try doing this uh, some other times of the day and see how uh, how well it works out. Um, one, one last thing is the comments on YouTube are changing how they're, how they're handled and are really messed up right now. And so if you leave a comment and I don't reply, I'm sorry, but I'm having, I'm really, 
struggling plus everybody else is struggling with the new system that they're setting up where you have to reply to comments via a Google Plus account not like you used to so we're, we're all struggling with that thanks for watching bye bye